Oh yeah. Check that out. This thing is huge. Uh. And there we have it. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Skyline395 and I'm very excited tonight. I just got off work. I just got the mail and I got some rather large boxes in the mail. Um, something I've been waiting on for a little bit. Let me show you what I got here. I have the Pokemon Heavy Hitters Premium Collection Box. So, big old boy, super stoked on this. Probably one of the biggest collection boxes I've ever seen that probably ever made. So I think it's got like 14 packs or something, Sword and Shield, so, so pumped. Um, now, let's do a quick peek at what we got here. So we have what looks like Astral Radiance, Brilliant Stars, Lost Origin, and Silver Tempest. And then we got the good old promos over here. The big dog, big old Lucario. Let's, let's count up what we got here. One, two, three. I guess I didn't even need to count. It kind of just says it right there. And so that's it. So I'm stoked. I think it's time to open the sucker. So let's do it. Okay, so the boxes have been taken out of the mailing boxes. Um, also, it's 24 hours later. It's the next day. <laughs> Didn't get around to opening them, but tonight is the night. So let's get these premium collection boxes opened and let's get these packs gathered. So uh, let me do that real quick. Boom. So what I did, I did a little zoom out on my camera so you could see the vicinity of this entire thing. But here it is, and what they do is they put a plastic in front of everything so it stays contained, which I appreciate. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna get this opened off camera. But good packaging, um, bright coin, but um, I appreciate that. All right, so all the goods are gathered. There is an enormous amount of packaging for this, which like I said, I appreciate. Um, but it took some work to get out, but, um, I have everything out and I'm just going to roll through all the good before I open the packs. Um, but we have an Eevee coin, a Pikachu coin, a score bunny coin, and then we have a good old Charizard coin. Oh, I also got one code card. You can't, you can't skip that part. Um, promo wise, we have this Lucario. Um, and I got the sets and the values for each of these, just so you guys are aware. But this is a deck exclusive card. It's only going for 17 cents, so not much. There's this Lucario V, um, and this one is going for 50 cents. This Tyranitar is a Darkness of Blaze card, and this is uh, 15 cents. <laughs> and then we got a Tyranitar V, and this is from Battle Styles. <clears throat> That's like 50 cents. But let's not forget the Jumbo Bumbo card, um, which is a copy of the Astral. This is like a buck fifty, so there you have it. All right, everybody, it's game time, which means pack opening time. I did my warm ups, my pack opening warm ups. I did my finger push ups so my fingers look nice and swole for the camera. And it's time to get into Silver Tempest. Here we go. Of course, I'll get you the code card. So as I go through this opening, I think the cool part about this this box is that it kind of highlights what I think is like the big four um, of Sword and Shield, um, and that's ignoring, I'd say the late round big four. Um, we got a Fion Rare, Fampy, Reverse. Um, but what I mean by the big four is I think the sequel of Astral Radiance, well, Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, Lost Origin, Sword Tempest are all great sets. Um, all the sets that are included in this box, um, I think they're all really great. I think they're all been really, you know, the, the sealed product as well as the singles that are all in these sets are gonna do really great over time. Um, but as I go through each of these four, what I wanna do is highlight the top five cards um, in terms of market value from each set as I go through. 
So as far as Silver Tempest goes, I'm gonna get a Smeargle Reverse. And is there an Aura Rare? Cool. So as far as Silver Tempest goes, oh my pronunciation, man. I did not do my talking warm-ups before the video. But Silver Tempest, Silver Tempest wise, um, I was gonna show all the pack cards on the top here. But at number one, we have the Lugia V, the Dark Lugia. Um, and these are all as of February 2nd market value, just so you know. But anyway, we got the Lugia V, and that's coming in at 116.06. Um, number two is Rayquaza V Max. Um, that Lugia, I near and dear want to pull so badly. Um, and at three, we have Lugia V Star. Um, let me make sure they're in view. That Lugia V Star is 2046. And then we got the Reun. I can't say it. I'm not even try. Metagross for uh, Hollow. We're first on that guy, which is a rare. Lugia V Star is 2046. And then we have Serena Full Art, which is at 1624. And then Unknown V is 1379. So there's your hits for Silver, Silver Tempest. I'll never say it correctly. <laughs> I'm gonna get some water in me. Okay, and so we opened up our three Silver Tempest packs, and now we are on to three Lost Origin, which are all the same artwork. <laughs> so shout out to Gardevoir, huh? So let's jump right into this guy. So as far as the hits nowadays, the top hits for Lost Origin, we all know what number one is, and that's gonna be that Garatina B. Oh my gosh, never stop bumping the camera. That's all right. Four, so that Garatina V, it's going for 247.60. Um, that is one of the top cards of all Sword and Shield era easily. Um, I like that Hunter art. Um, and then number two is far below, but I think we all know what that number two is, and that's the Aerodactyl V, um, which is such a beautiful card. It really has like the rainbow colors, Metatype Reverse, Raichu Fair. So to pull either one of those would be epic. Um, but following up at three is Pikachu V Max, which I think is like a chunk of chew one. And that's at 20, sorry, the Aerodactyl's at 8368, and then here we have a code card. And that Chunk 2 V Max is 3303. Following that is uh, Rotom V 2899, and then after that is Pikachu V coming in at 2051. Oh, dropped a card. Whoops. So we in Slagu, Seal, Rockruff, Ducklet. Flip Bug, Ink A, Reverse, Relicanth, and an Upside Down Garatina V Star. Whoop. Nice. Let's get that in a little holder. Boom, and boom. Cool. All right, and last pack of Lost Origin. We're rolling. I don't know how many of you have experienced opening packs on camera. Um, this is a new thing for me, and if I sound nervous, it's because I am. But anyway, <laughs> take it till you make it, right? But it is a never-ending challenge. Man, look at all these upside-down cards. That's hilarious. It is a never-ending challenge to keep your opening station uh, organized. I'm bad at that. Oh, I see something shiny. Cannot keep this contained. Let's just rip through this. Also, my pack opening skills here are a little rusty. I'm trying to practice that as well. Reverse toolbox and another upside down V star. We have the Drapion right there. Cool. Lost Origin, it pulled through today. Silver Tempest did not. Okay, and it's Astral Radiance time. So here we have four packs right there. So we'll put that back where it came from and we will get cracking. So we have the Palkia. Hisuian Palkia or whatever, Origin Form Palkia on the cover. Still a little odd looking, but they're growing on me. Palkia and Dialga, the new forms. 
So as far as Astral Radiance, which I have to say is my second favorite. I mean, it's my... I don't know if I'm ready to state what my favorite set is, Sword and Shield, but Astral Radiance is very close to the top. The... I skipped a card. The artwork on the... Um, like the special artwork. Oh, we have a Radiant Heatran. Cool. And then the rare is Ursaluna. Cool. But the artwork in this set is just absolutely sweet. Um, and I'm, I'm a Sinnoh guy, so and there's so many Sinnoh Pokemon, especially the the special artworks for Palkia and Dialga are just beautiful. The rainbows. Um, and speaking of which, let me call off the top hits for this set while I'm at it. Um, so what we're looking at is, at number one, it's Machamp V, um, which isn't even a cover Pokemon for the artwork, which is a little interesting. And speaking of non-cover work, well, not Machamp V, is 8343, market value. Um, and then next is Starmie V, and that is coming in at 3679, which that card too is beautiful. Oh, I like this. The trainer in the background, it's a cool Hippopotamus. Cyndaquil, Scyther, Bronzor, Reverse, Super Effective Glasses, Rare, Weird Ear V. Awesome. And we're on to the third pack here. So after your Starmie V, we have Palkia V coming in behind the two. And that's at 3260. This card's cool. It's kind of in a weird like time warp or space warp. I don't know. You tell me what you think is going on. That's coming in at 3260, and then after that is Dialga V at 2379, which feels really cheap for such a great card. Um, and probably my favorite of the set, the rainbow, and it is beautiful. And then last at five, excuse me, got the rough lip there, pointing to drinking water. But at five is Sneasler V, and that's at 20, no, 1987. Oh, nice, Bronzor. Special artwork and another Uslun rare. Funny. Nice. Astro Radiance is also coming in for us. We're already running out of room, which is not a bad problem to be in. And then last pack of Astral. And speaking of values, um, this whole box, um, I like to say where I buy my products um, because if you're watching this video, um, well, you know what you're, you're doing the right thing because you're watching my video. But secondly, you're probably watching because you want to see what this box is all about or you're just trying to have fun, but maybe you want to know where the box came from. I got this from eBay and there's at least one seller out there, maybe multiple, that are selling this thing for $40. And for 14 packs, good packs, Who to Hood Reverse, Hisuian Overquill Rare. But for 14 good packs, that's a great deal. Um, and I ran the numbers, um, and I'll put them on the screen here, but the total value is like $48. So, I mean, you're saving a little bit, um, but I feel like it's such a fun thing to open. And that's only the packs, so you get the promos as well. Um, so, and we're on to Brilliant Stars, the last and final of the four, the big four here. But I think this Heavy Hitters collection, it's really cool. I mean, it's just like, Got cool promo cards with Pyranitar and Lucario. Everyone loves them. I think this thing came from Sam's Club, which I'm a Costco guy, so I missed out on this back in the day, but it's just like super cheap right now on eBay. So go check it out if you think you'd be interested in something like this. Um, I know there's a ton of openings out there, but it's a cool box. I got a Pebble up here. Turtwig, back-to-back Sino -back starters, which I love. And Chino Carablast. Oh, Houndoom. Beautiful. Trainer Gallery. Cool. And then a Lapras Rare. Cute card. Nice. All right, and let's resume. Brilliant Stars. We have the Arceus artwork. The god of all Pokemon. Let's see here. And so rounding out our top hits for Brilliant Stars, the top chase card is... There's the promo, or go card. The top chase card is Charizard V, and that guy is coming in at 114.52. And it takes the lead by a long shot, but next is Charizard V-Star. 
So you got back-to-back -back Charizards on this uh, big Charizard set, huh? And that's, that's, and that's the Charizard V-Star at 6133. And we have a Manaphy Rare Reverse and a Warmadam Rare. All right, next pack. We got a Whimsicat. And then at number three, we have Arceus V. And that is coming in at 2618. And I like that card a lot. Um, as a center guy, I think that card is gorgeous. I love Arceus. I think he's the most epic Pokemon. Let's roll through this. Cynthia. My celeb crush. Beedoof with Barry sitting in there in the back. I love that card too. Floats will reverse and the rare is a Tornadus. And then here's our last pack of the day. And let me finish out these top hits for Brilliant Stars. Number four is the Ultra Ball Secret Rare. That's a 2507 value. And then Number four is a Mewtwo promo with the stamp on it from uh, Brilliant Stars. Um, that's worth twenty four thirty nine, and I think that's from a Build and Battle kit or whatever. So that's kind of crazy for one of those, huh? But the Mewtwo is cool. Um, but I'm gonna not include that. Um, the, the real number five is Umbreon V Max, and that's at twenty three thirty three, which is a good looking card. So there you have it. That is the up-to-date values on the big four sets, their top five hits. And here we have a reverse fracture, and the rare is a warm and dam. Another warm dam. Killing me, man. And in conclusion, we have ourselves. Giratina V-Star that we snagged from Lost Origin. Right after, Drapion V-Star from also Lost Origin. Then we got the Weird Air V. And this was from, shoot, uh, was that Astral? I think so. Next we had, the, yeah, it was Astral. Next we had the Bronzong Trainer Gallery. I forgot her name, but she's a steel type trainer, obviously. Cool card. I like the background, it's like a black and white sketch. And then the last, we had the Houndoom Trainer Gallery from Brilliant Stars. And I don't know who that is, but cool card. So there you have it. Alrighty, and that is a wrap on the video. So. If you made it this far thank you so much um and i hope you found the video entertaining and informative um I'm trying to provide you know videos that are both of those um and not really trying to waste anyone's time i hope um, maybe i inspired you to get this box um 14 packs is really cool some great sets um and with that you get great hits so i'm really happy with what i got today and um maybe you're stoked on what you saw and you want to go get one yourself so um yeah and for future content i'm trying to keep it all um you know i'm trying to go quality over quantity not just try and spray out a bunch of videos so you know if you have any tips on what you think i could do better please let me know um things that you would want to see me open or whatever it is um you know me talk about investing or whatever it is anything to do with pokemon really i love it so um that's about it I have more plans for the future, in the soon, the near future, so, um, like I said, I want to keep, keep the videos, um, good, and, uh, not just create filler or anything like that, so, um, that's it, so, next week, got a Super Bowl to watch, Niners made it, very stoked about that, so, <laughs> I'm dying inside, just waiting patiently, uh, for that game, um, and yeah, but anyway, I hope you all take care, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.